Hi there, people. Let me share with you a famous quote by Bill Gates. Here it is. He said that I will choose a lazy person to do a hard job because he can come up with an easy way to do it. Isko sunke lagta hai ki laziness ek bahut hi achhi quality hai. It's like a skill which is so high in demand. And that kind of makes sense too. If somebody is lazy, he will come up with smarter ways, less time consuming ways to do the same task. And that sounds brilliant. But here's the reality. There is no elevator to success. There is no shortcut to success. Let's say there is some topic, some concept in your syllabus which you find very difficult to understand. But the truth is, it is important very important from examination perspective you are bound to get questions from there in the paper now no matter how much you dislike it you don't have much choice you will have to master it and for that what will you do of course you will have to sit with it study it with full focus and attention from all the books or the resources that you have make detailed notes about it solve enough number of questions based upon it and then you will reach a stage where you will be like ha huh, अब मुझे ये आता है यहाँ से कोई भी सवाल आ गया आई विल बी एबल टू क्रैक इट बट दिस प्रोसेस टू रीच दैट स्टेज ऑफ एक्सीलेंस टुक वॉट इट टुक टाइम एंड दिस इज नॉन नेगोशियबल नाउ वंस यू रियलाइज दिस ट्रूथ द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज विच कम्स आ वे इज लेजीनेस इट्स लाइक यू वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग बट यू कीप postponing it to tomorrow and tomorrow you keep procrastinating it until the time when it's actually too late and all you're left with is a huge pile of syllabus a lot of stress a lot of anxiety so here are a handful of tried and tested hacks to fight laziness they have worked wonders for me and i'm sure they will work wonders for you hack number 1 break the state If you have been sitting on the same chair and studying for a long time, man, you need to get up. You need to get up and start moving. Go take a quick run. It will spike up your heart rate. It will make you sweat a little, send immediate oxygen to your head and make your body completely activated and energized. If you don't want to go for a run, you can just go outside the house and take a quick walk in the park nearby. When you spend time with nature with greenery, what happens is it calms your nerves down and it refreshes your entire system thereby breaking the loop of laziness if you don't want to go even outside the house you can just get up and beside your chair itself perform 10 push-ups or 10 free weight squats they are equally good or you can try this one it never fails and it's a game changer jump into a cold shower it will be like a shocker to your body it will wake up your body immediately making you all happy energetic and you will be able to say a happy bye bye to laziness and let me tell you what works for me so whenever i feel lethargic lazy all sleepy and bored i just consciously get up play my favorite soundtrack which is usually some peppy number from bollywood some high energy song for 2 minutes and i just dance now i can't dance here but like you understand it just pumps up my heart rate and makes my mind body and soul super happy and active you know when you consciously deliberately change your state into any of these easy peasy things your body releases happy hormones and uplifts your mood instantly so what happens is your system gets completely recharged your will power fires up and you are all set to study again time for the second hack change the regulars if every day you sit in the same room in the same corner on the same study table to study well this is a very important factor to consider if you're feeling lethargic bored or lazy what you need is change try studying in a different room or just step out of the house and visit a nearby library what is the point here the point is to change the space change the surrounding change the environment and in here a very underestimated thing is organizing the desk i know it might sound boring but this is really really important why because when you have a cluttered study area or a cluttered desk 
filled with all sorts of books and notes and sheets and stationery items and whatnot. Basically more of the unnecessary stuff than necessary stuff. It makes you feel overwhelmed. It makes you feel there's more work on the plate than there actually is and that this just invites stress, which leads to procrastination. Got it? So once in a while, just take out some time and clean your study area because an uncluttered desk means an uncluttered mind better ready to focus and study. Now here, one more thing is there which you need to keep in mind. See, when you're studying, sitting for a long time, the lower half of your body is deactivated because there's not enough oxygen flow. So once in a while, you should make a point to get up and move around your room and study. So you can go and study, you can say it and say it. What happens is that you are not only studying your mind, but your whole body is studying. Which is a very involving, very promising process. And in this way, whatever you have studied, it will be stored better and retained for a longer time. Now one thing which has worked really big time for me and I'm sure it can help you too is buy a whiteboard and hang it nearby your study table. Now make a rule that when you study, you will do it and sit down, but when you have to revision, you will get up and revise on the whiteboard. What will You will get an excuse to get up which will ensure there is blood flow in the body and you will be all active again. In fact, revision ke time, aap ye imagine kar sakte ho ki saamne aapke virtual students and you are actually unko padha rahe ho. Because learning through teaching is the best way. Isse there will be active recall and this process se jab aap revision karte ho, to the chances of you forgetting stuff are almost zero. Now how I used this strategy was, I had this little garden in my house, I still have it and I used to go there with the excuse of watering the plants and while watering the plants I used to just teach the plants whatever I've learned. So see the idea is to invite novelty, to invite newness because newness in any form possible, how small, how big doesn't matter, this is what brings excitement. And excitement brings enthusiasm and that kills laziness. But hey, there's a disclaimer. When I talk about bringing in newness in life, I am not at all talking about checking out YouTube for new videos or Instagram for new posts and reels. That's a rabbit hole, guys. Once you enter it, you won't be able to come out of it that easily and you already know it. So we are talking about positive changes and not negative changes. I'm sure you are mature enough to distinguish between the two. Now the last hack which is the winner of all is reach out to get inspired. You know many a times it happens that everything is fine, we know what is supposed to be done but somehow we just can't get the things done. That's when you should take a break and just opt for watching some inspirational movie. Or maybe listen to a song which has powerful lyrics that gives you goosebumps all over your body. Or maybe you can recite a motivational poem or you can watch some documentary which is very moving, it makes you emotional but also makes you inspired. Or you can just talk to someone you trust like have a little pep talk with maybe your mentors or some guardian like your parents or maybe have a little pep talk with your elder brother and sister or some senior who's been in your shoes before. What this does is it reminds you of your why and it realigns you with your goal. That's what charges your body immediately, makes you completely focused and brings you back on track with a bang. All these methods that I've shared with you today, they have never failed me and they will never fail you. Well, on this note, it's me Bhumika signing off people. For more such videos, stay tuned to Akash Baiju's JE channel.